So I make a lot of pork chops in the summer because I throw them on the grill and it's super easy. Um, but everyone in this house is a little sick of chicken lately. So I resorted back to a pork chop because I know we all like it. Um, it's all in the prep. You know, it's sitting here ready to go. We're going to make a honey garlic pork chop. You can do this bone in or boneless. I'm doing bone in because that's what we like here. Um, it's like four solid ingredients and a cast iron pan and you have dinner. So I'm gonna show you the easiest pork chop you can do inside on your stove top, cast iron, literally four ingredients. Let's get started. So, like I said, I got bone-in pork chops. They're beautiful. I marinated them in a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, and then this is it. We're gonna, scallion is literally for garnish at the end to make it fancy, make it pretty, make it presentable. We have honey, garlic. That's why it's called honey garlic pork chops. See that? Um, chicken stock, butter, lemon juice. Lemon is not used all the time, but I like it because it helps brighten the flavor, especially with the garlic. Um, and once we finish pan searing them, we make the sauce in the pan, so it's a one pan meal, and then we're sticking it in the broiler. Um, I have more than two to do, so I'm gonna use it in a casserole dish, but if you have the cast iron pan, you can just sear them, do the sauce in there, put the pork chops in, and throw it right back in the oven. I am gonna transfer it to a bigger pan uh, because I got more than two people to feed here. So with the garlic, you see how sometimes I slice it like thin. Um, I'm really gonna get this good because it's really part of the sauce and we want all the flavor to open up. So just taking my knife, gonna chop it, mince it, make it into like very fine paste because it's gonna be added in after we sear the pork chops in the pan to help make the sauce. I love smashing garlic, it takes out all my aggression. Um, then run your knife right through it. Prep. So, because it's a one pan meal, if you have all the prep done, what a difference it makes. So there's our bone in pork chops. Like I said, you can do this boneless. Our honey, our chicken stock, lemon, butter, and our garlic. So adding a little bit of olive oil to our cast iron pan. I'm not looking to fry these in a lot of oil, so I'm actually, because it's the cast iron, I just want to coat the bottom. Put the oil in, I'm taking a paper towel, just taking off the excess, because if so, it's really gonna start frying them. Um, so it's just to really coat the bottom of the pan to get a nice hard sear. I suggest a cast iron. You don't have to if you have like a regular um, pan or nonstick, that's fine. But I like the cast iron and it should be an oven safe pan because you want to put this, when you do this in one pan meal, in to get the broiler. So like I said, oh yeah, I love that sound. Um, my cast iron is small so we're going to do two at a time. I'm going to sear them really well around four and a half to five minutes on each side. Sear the round, like the rim of them, and then rest them on the side while we make the sauce right in here. All of the pork chops have been seared. We're just gonna set them aside. Before we put them back in, we gotta make our sauce. So, this pan, do you see all these crusty deliciousness? That's where our butter comes in. Throw our butter in. Start getting it melted in the base of it. I'm also gonna switch from tongs to, you know what? I'm gonna get the special spoon out. I'm gonna get the meat spoon just so we can scrape all that deliciousness. So, once the butter starts melting, I'm gonna add my garlic in. Get that soft hanging. Scrape, scrape, scrape. It smells outrageous in here right now with all this garlic. So, getting our lemons juiced real quick in here while our butter is melting. Like I said, make sure you roll your citrus, oh yeah. Um, I'm doing two whole lemons. You can do one if, you're, if you don't have as many pork chops. I have two, four, six, I have eight pork chops. Um, so we're doing two lemons. So I do a lemon for three to four pork chops. Okay. Chicken stock. And our honey. It's gonna look really loose. Use your spoon. Scrape up the bottom. You're gonna go on low until it simmers. It's gonna thicken up beautifully. Do you see this sauce? Do you see this sauce? Do you see the bubbles and the deliciousness that is in this pan right now? Swipe up and go check out our story to see what we put this on tonight for dinner. As your sauce reduced, you're gonna add your pork chops right back in. 
our broiler is on and for three and a half, four minutes, they're gonna go in and it makes all the difference because it's gonna caramelize all of this right on the pork chop. So double dip, turn it over and get them on into the broiler. So these out of the broiler, pouring the extra sauce right over them. Oh my God, outrageous. Honey garlic pork chops. And then this is family style tonight, so we're just a little bit of scallion right on top. Dinner is served.